Okay, okay YouTubers, this morning we have a 2002 beat up Polo, a 1.4 motor in it, and as you can see, well, see that or not, this one. Okay. I'm not going to go through everything we did, but essentially we scanned the ECU engine control unit to see if we could um, find any misfire data we did, so that gave us some direction. It said cylinder number two. Um, then I just quickly went down each of the injectors with the stethoscope um, to listen to see if they're actuating, and number two was an actuator. But this is just a, a quick video on, on how you can actually get um, you're caught out by some systems. Um, so we've got the red traces um, the control side of the injector and as you can see it's just over 12 and a half volts and it's not switching it's just a bit of electrical noise in the circuit but sometimes what these V-dubs and other makes will do is if they strike a misfire they will turn the injector off what we'll do, now we've got that hooked up, is we'll turn the engine off. Wait a few seconds for everything to reset. And then we will restart. And as you can see the retrace now. What we'll do now as well is we will zoom in on that waveform just to check that injector. Oh, two seconds, I'll just need to. Okay, zooming in on that waveform, we see we've got a good switching. We've got a good switching right there. Down to zero volts, or near enough to it. A voltage spike of approximately 68 volts, which is a good spike. The uh, trimming off there by the Zena diode in the ECU, and um, in the pintle hump here, the mechanical movement of the injector shutting. So we know that the injector's pretty much okay. Okay, if we do the waveform again. After the engine's been running, it's shut itself off. So, while it looks like a faulty injector, initially, it ain't. Okay, what we're looking at here is uh, number three coil. We know that one's working well. Because um, I've been down with a probe on top of each coil to see whether we could get some action or anything happening. And they all seem to be switching. So, this is just an amp reading. In two seconds, I'll put the camera down again. Okay, now this is a coil ramp of number three ignition coil. As you can see uh, that corner down there. We have um, the you know, turn on oscillations, it's a good steady ramp up to about nine amps, and then it turns off. So that's a, a good waveform for number three. Well, we know that one's working, so that's a good reference for us. Now we'll switch to number two and see what the coil's doing there. Okay, that's number two coil. Obviously you can see it's switching. We're going to nearly 10 amps, so we know the circuit's good. Power and grounds are good. Um, we'll zoom in on that picture. Let's pause it. Now, for those of you who know what coil ramps look like, um, amp ramps look like coils, you'll be going, holy shit. Um, and here's our problem. We have a, a short in that ignition coil. The, um, there's no turn on oscillations, it wants to, you can see like a zigzaggy thing here but it's, it's not quite doing it. Um, we know, as we said before, the switching and everything's good because we're getting nearly 9 amps there. Um, and we are getting a signal from the ECU, but it's way too sharp a climb, so we know that's a direct short. So, there's our problem. Um, so essentially once you get into this sort of stuff with oscilloscopes, 
sometimes they slow you down, but uh, it's good to verify before you do a repair. And uh, we'll do a shot of that, that ignition coil after we replace it. We should have another one here today. Um, so that was reasonably unintrusive. With our Pico ink paint just on the, um, on the power supply wire to each of those coils. Just had to strip a little bit of insulation off. Um, but yeah, it just shows you how you can be fooled sometimes uh, with engine misfire stuff. So you don't want to be replacing injectors when it's in fact in the, an additional coil. So we'll just do one coil of all the rest of the end. Ramps look good. Um, and we'll put a set of plugs in it while we're there. Just in case. Um, and we'll show you some readings afterwards. There we go. Number two ignition coil replaced. spark plugs in as well. I don't know whether you can see that on the camera or not. Yeah, it's smoothed it right out. Misfire's gone. Um, misfire counter for the on the scan tool. We've erased that as well. So um, yeah, it's all good. So that's in a nutshell. Um, I suppose this uh, video is more for workshops rather than people who uh, fix cars from home but if you've got a little bit of knowledge and, um, and some gear you can get the same outcome but it's basically about um, use of scan tools, um, working with oscilloscopes and, um, and keeping an open mind that's the biggest thing I think now. Alright if you um, have any questions you can ask me questions if you like the video you can like it if you don't like it you can not like it as well and tell us what you think. Thank you.